Hey gang, this is Darren with Madcap Toys again. We're going to show you a few things that we've been listing as of this week. A lot of dimes, a lot of silver, and other things. But this is 1956 Roosevelt dime, good or higher. This is a 1959 D, and we call it AVC, which means average, average circulated, which means on average it'll be, you know, good or higher, but sometimes a little lower. This here also, we've got a Morgan 1921 S G plus, and uh, you'll see some of the pricing on there. That's the base price that we're going to go by. Uh, some people get a little cheaper from us. Some people get a little bit more. Depends on where they live with the shipping. 1980 S proof uh, Roosevelt dime Cooper nickel. Uh, it could be up to Jim B uh, Jim proof, I would say, uh, if you get it actually graded. We got a mess of those. This is 1952 Silver Roosevelt, and by the way, guys, we've sewed several items, including the uh, Silver 1921S it just sewed. We've had a ding, 53 Roosevelt dimes sewed, 1960, this one here, Roosevelt dime has sewed. So these things are going pretty fast. We've got a base price of $5 on them, but we have been selling them for four or a little less. Uh, again, depends on the situation. 1958D, uh, we've been getting a mess of these dimes. Like I said, I probably have at least 500 Roosevelt dimes, not including the Mercury's that we just purchased and the Barber dimes. But getting a mess of raw coins that we're trying to move out for people that are trying basically to fill the albums. We've had a lot of people begging for albums. Now, we have slowed down, as you know, uh, Sean, quite as many action figures, etc., because it's the summertime. So we're trying to hit our other collecting uh, groups and show them we've got other things as well. This 1964D Roosevelt Dime, it should be BU to Jim BU. And a lot of the ways you guys can tell where we believe the, the coin will uh, be is by the pricing guide. All right. And we've got another 1960. Again, this one has just sewed. It's EF plus 40 or higher. Uh, we put the base grade. In our, our opinion, we're usually right on or just a tad off. And usually it grades higher than what we say. Unless it's an ABC. Now this here is a 1978S Cooper Nickel Roosevelt Proof 65. Which means it could be gem proof if it is officially graded. Um, Depends on the grading company, of course. So you might want to check into that if you're interested in buying that. So 1956D, you see this one here, we've got marked at $3. We will probably sell it right at 4 because on some sites we're not allowed to sell anything below what well, used to be $5, but now they've got it where I can sell them at 4 This is 1910 Barber Dime. Again, several barbers have come in. Uh, this here is average circulated. We are selling this one for $4. Uh, we've moved some of these dimes down just a tad to move a little quicker to clear out some space because I have so many of these things right now. 1962 D Roosevelt dime, average circulated. Again, this one will be $4. And uh, guys, we're going to be showing a lot more coins here this year. 1957 D Roosevelt dime, average circulated. We have a lot of coin collectors that are saying, hey, uh, we're interested in some of these, so let us know what you've got. Because uh, we want to take and check you out. Guys, be sure to check out our store on eBay. And, of course, our listings on Macari. Because that's where you can find these things. Um, this 1940D Silver Mercury Dime. Again, selling for $4. But I've also got some things to wrap it up that is for the kids and the collector of the toys section. Playmobil Toys. Uh, we've got a 6689 8-piece set. Uh, Super 4, The Angel. Uh, so be sure to check her out if you're into Playmobil. I actually like Playmobil. I think they're cool. And sometimes I think they're even better than Lego because of the parts and the kits that you get with them. Here we go, Lego City. Some of these uh, items that we've been listing, we've been listing a mess of Playmobil, Mega Blocks, and Lego guys. This goes with the Lego City set. <coughs> Excuse me. 192 piece. Uh, we have listed some today, not this particular set, but we have listed some that's way over 100 bucks. So you may want to check some of those collector sets out. Here's one I really like. Star Wars Hoth, uh, I'm going to call it a play set. 
uh, for Lego. It's 255 pieces. Really interesting, really cool, really detailed. So be sure to check it out, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. Uh, if you could, subscribe, because that helps us out a lot. And I've got about 92% of my guys that check me out weekly do not subscribe. I'd really appreciate a little bit of support there, guys, because that's that's very important according to um, you know YouTube and their channel. Your comments are important. We'd like to know what you think and uh, what you really like to see. You guys let me know in the last poll that you're really into the coins. So we're going to show off a lot of our coins, and we are also going to continue with the toys, the talks, and the toy talk, toy demos, etc. Guys, thank you so much. You have a great Wonderful day, and until um, next time, be safe. Bye-bye.